In this class, we are going to learn how to add a custom column in the table when we are building a RTF template to display the data for our BI Publisher report. In our earlier class, we had seen how to create this table with the help of the table wizard wherein we populated this table with the fields which we are getting from the BIP report response. But what if we have to create our own custom column and populate the data based on calculation like I want to display the total or the line amount over here which will be based on item quantity and the item unit price. Then how to do the same we will learn in this class. First of all I will add one more column over here let me just adjust the columns over here so that I get some space to add one more column. Okay, let me just right click over here, insert and the columns to the right. I will name this as line amount or the total line amount. I can name this as, also you can rename this. We don't want to have this underscore everywhere. Let me just rename this. PO item, you can even have a camel casing or capital camel casing or naming the columns. As per the con naming convention you follow for your customer, you can have the same over here as well. Done. Now let me just copy this entire thing. So as we have studied, we are having this for loop on the G2 element. If you see over here, G2 is the element which will be holding our line item. G1 is the one which is holding the header as well as line. So here we are looping the G1, here we are looping over to the G2 tag. So I will remove this end tag from here as we are having end tag for the start G2 element what we have over here that is end for each. So this will be as is. Now coming to the item quantity, double click on this. Here text to display we can tell that we are displaying the total line amount so this we can change coming to the advanced here we can tell so this will be based on the item quantity into our item unit price so the tag we have to copy as is that is this one we have to copy even we can type but make sure the data field name is case sensitive over here click on ok done let me just save and rerun this or recheck the PDF output. Click on this. Now here if you see, we have added this custom field which will show the total line amount which will be based on multiplication of item quantity and the unit price. 129 into 2, that is nothing but it is 258. Suppose if you are having n number of line elements, then it will multiply 30 into 10, 300, 30 into 6, 180, so and so forth. So you can have a look at this. So like this, we can add a custom column to our table, which is based on the calculation. Like we are multiplying two elements, which we get in the BIT report, that is item unit price into the item quantity. And we are displaying the result over here. In our next class, we will learn how to display the total amount over here at the bottom of the table which will be the total of all the line amounts.